Welcome to Latch Lux. I'm Steph, the founder of Latch Lux, where we offer nursing tops and support for breastfeeding mothers. Today, I want to teach you a little bit about the football slash rugby ball hold breastfeeding position. But before we get into that, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell if you're interested in learning more about other breastfeeding positions as well. So with the football or rugby ball hold position, your baby is going to be tucked under your arm like you're holding a football or a rugby ball. To set up for this position, there are a few very important steps. First is to prepare your sitting area. So before you even got your baby, make sure you're in a comfortable seat and you've got everything handy that you might need during your feeding session. I like to always have a bottle of water nearby and a burp cloth always within reach. Um, I also have my breastfeeding support pillow right here as well. So everything that I need is within arm's length. After your sitting area is all set up, then you want to position your baby. So I'm gonna take my little baby here and get him situated. So with that, again, I like to use the breastfeeding support pillow, especially for the football or rugby ball hold position. Um, to position your baby, again, you're going to really want to have your baby tucked underneath your arm in this position. I like to take my baby's hands and they're going to be kind of giving my breast a hug. Um, the baby's head is going to be in line with my nipple. And in any breastfeeding position, you really want to make sure that the baby's head, shoulders, and back and hip are really all in alignment in a straight line. If your baby is, you know, turning their head to, to try and feed, it's not going to be as comfortable for them. So making sure that everything is in alignment, we're going to tuck them right under my arm. And then the next step will be to really offer them support. So we're using the pillow for support that's really going to support their body on the side here and my hand is going to support the baby's neck so with a gentle grip around the baby's neck and again we're not we're not going to hold the head we're going to hold right at the base of the neck this is going to offer me the most control and offer my baby the most support where they're the weakest i'm going to use my other hand to support my breast and then of course we're going to get our our breast out and get ready um, next, once our baby is kind of all positioned, then we're going to help them latch. Especially in the earlier newborn days, they really do need a lot of help with this. So as their nose is aligned with my nipple, I'm going to wait until they have a big open mouth. Um, I can kind of encourage that open mouth by tickling their nose, tickling their upper lip, and it should encourage them to open their mouth nice and wide. It can be difficult, but be patient and really wait for that open mouth. Once you get that open mouth, you're going to kind of squish your nipple together so you can get as much of your areola as possible into the baby's mouth. We want them to really have a mouthful here because that's going to lead to a deep latch. Once your baby is latched, you know, continue to monitor them. And that's one of the best things about this football or rugby ball hold position is it really gives you a good view of your baby. You'll get to see them and you can look directly down at them throughout the entire feeding session to make sure that they're man maintaining that deep latch and that they're drinking. <laughs> so you'll see that movement in their jaw that they are consistently swallowing, sucking, swallowing, and breathing. That's kind of the rhythm that we want to see in any breastfeeding position. Another great part about this position is that it's nice for larger breasts or if you had a c-section during your birth experience. Um, again with the baby kind of over to the side here you can see it's not putting any pressure on my abdominal if I would have been recovering from a c-section. And over to the side means that my baby isn't across both of my breasts. The larger your breasts are, the more they can get in the way if you are in you know, a more traditional hold like this. So when I first started breastfeeding, the football hold was my go-to hold. Um, I do have larger breasts, so I found, especially with a small baby, that it was pretty difficult to have one of those more traditional holds. The other nice thing about this position is that you can use it with twins. So here is my baby's little sister. And so you can see, um, you know, you could 
hold your babies, twin babies like this and feed them simultaneously. So that is one alternate positions to the, the rugby ball hold position is to do kind of the double rugby ball hold with your twins. Of course, every breastfeeding position takes some practice, um, so this is no exception. Be sure to um, take your time with it, experiment with different things, and figure out what's going to work best for you. Some other things to consider with this breastfeeding position, it can be a little more difficult as your baby grows. So when your baby is tucked off to the side as they grow, they can start to you know kick off your seat and start to get a little bit more wiggly. It does make this position a little more difficult. I found that when my baby got a little bit bigger and she was you know really kicking off the back, there were a couple other positions that worked better for us. So we kind of transitioned into the um, upright football hold or a more traditional kind of cross cradle hold at that point. So with that upright football hold, you're still going to tuck your baby over to the side here, but they can kind of sit on your lap a little bit more with their legs tucked over to the side. So that's a good alternative once they start kicking off the back of the seat. Um, and then again, as they grow, maybe a cross cradle hold would be more appropriate. So still using my support pillow for this one. And, um, you know, if this is our football hold, the nice part about the cross cradle hold is it's pretty much the same positioning for your baby. You're still going to be supporting their neck here. You're just shifting them right over to the other breast and then giving them that extra room to be able to kick around as they grow. I've found this football position or rugby ball position to be the most helpful in the early postpartum days. Again, for women recovering from a C-section, in the early postpartum days, this is going to be great for you. It's also really nice as you and your baby are learning to breastfeed because again, it does give you that great view as you're seeing and it offers you a lot of control over your baby and over your breast. So that's really important as you're learning to breastfeed and that's a great reason why the football hold is one of the best positions to start your breastfeeding journey with. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really hope this video helps you master the football or rugby ball hold position. Be sure to tell me how this position worked for you in the comments and we'll see you soon for our next video.